There's something very civilized about the set for Jason Wu's new show. It really goes with the clothes, which are sophisticated, but ever so slightly decadent. Strength and seduction. Start with that. It's the two facets of women that always intrigue me and I always want to uh, have in my collection. There is the strength coming from a lot of the tailoring and then there's the seduction coming from the barely their dresses. Were you seduced by those clothes? Totally. You know, especially with the furs and, you know, the sparkling dresses. I think it's an extremely seductive show. He has this refined elegance but from a certain period of time when you look at it and you go I can picture someone wearing that I can picture the moment and I think that's probably what the most beautiful thing about this show was it just becomes the purest design the palette the materials the way everything was proportioned there's no trying to be intellectual um, or abstract or anything he just wants you to be beautiful my favorite part of this show was the blouses and the gowns, that winter white gown with the cutout in the back, and it's a really new blouse silhouette, black and white with the two knots, and then all the fur, no model smile. She's rich, she's powerful, and she's over 30 now. The Jason World Girls grown up. You know, I've grown up a lot throughout the last few years, and so has my girl. She's now a woman, and I think there's no mistake about that in this collection. There's definitely a seductress. There's still a certain prowess in them. I thought it was very interesting that you ended with Anna Ewers in that fur coat. I mean, what the hell is she wearing under that coat? That's for her to know and for you to find out. <laughs>